Over 210 million years ago, the landscape was dominated by towering conifers and fearsome predators. Among these predators was a small but deadly dinosaur called Coelophysis. With its sharp teeth and powerful jaws, Coelophysis was a top predator that hunted in packs, taking down prey much larger than itself. But Coelophysis was not just a hunter. It was also a cannibal. Its long, slender body was built for speed, and it could run at impressive speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. Coelophysis was a small theropod dinosaur that lived in what is now North America and Southern Africa during the late Triassic. The genus appeared around 221.5 million years ago, making it one of the first known dinosaurs. Reaching around 3 meters 9.8 feet in length, Coelophysis was a lightly built, ground-dwelling dinosaur. Like all theropods, Coelophysis was bipedal, which means that it walked on two legs, and its hind legs were longer and stronger than its front legs. Each of Coelophysis' feet had three main claws and a fourth, smaller claw positioned further up the foot. The arms were adapted for grasping and holding prey but are not thought to have been particularly powerful. The head was long and thin. The jaws of Coelophysis contained around 50 small, sharp teeth. Coelophysis' large eyes were forward-facing, giving the dinosaur good binocular vision. Binocular vision allows an animal to judge depth. This is evidence that Coelophysis was a predator, as binocular vision assists meat-eaters to capture prey. According to paleontologists, Coelophysis was one of the first dinosaurs to exist in a world where archosaurs and the reptile-like ancestors of mammals predominated rather than other dinosaurs, because it was relatively small and slenderly built, Coelophysis was not an apex predator. The speed and agility of Coelophysis may have been adaptations not only for capturing prey but also for evading larger predators. Coelophysis had to evade meat-eaters such as the crocodile-like phytosaurs and the fearsome Rauisichid post -Ossicus. Another reptile that lived alongside Coelophysis was the Archosaurophygia. Sterling Nesbitt, a PhD candidate at the time, discovered this genus after realizing that a specimen previously thought to be a Coelophysis was actually a completely different species of reptile. Also living with Coelophysis were the large, herbivorous Dicynodont placharias and the dog-sized carnivorous Cynodont thrinaxodon. Based on fossil evidence, scientists believe that Coelophysis primarily get to meat, likely small reptiles, insects, and other small animals that it could catch and kill. Although the exact diet of Coelophysis is difficult to determine with certainty, researchers have made some educated guesses based on the structure of its teeth and jaws. Coelophysis had sharp, pointed teeth that were well suited for piercing and tearing flesh, suggesting that it was a predator that fed on other animals. In addition to its teeth, Coelophysis had a powerful jaw that could deliver a forceful bite, which would have helped it to kill and consume its prey. Some scientists believe that Coelophysis may have also been a scavenger, feeding on the carcasses of animals that it did not kill itself. Overall, the diet of Coelophysis was likely composed of a variety of small animals, including reptiles, insects, and other small prey. While it is possible that it may have also fed on plants or other materials on occasion, the evidence suggests that it was primarily a carnivorous hunter that rallied on its sharp teeth and powerful jaw to capture and kill its prey. The first Coelophysis specimens were discovered in 1881 in Chinal Formation rocks in northwestern New Mexico. David Baldwin, a fossil collector who was at the time working for renowned paleontologist Edward Drinker Cope, discovered the fossils, after incorrectly attributing them to existing genera. Cope realized that the specimens belonged to a new genus, which he named Coelophysis, which means hollow form, for the hollow appearance of the vertebrae. In 1947, paleontologist Edwin Colbert led a fossil finding expedition to Ghost Ranch, a large ranch in northwestern New Mexico, close to where the original Coelophysis fossils had been found. Here he discovered the fossilized remains of hundreds of Coelophysis in a single graveyard. This large flock of dinosaurs had likely been caught in a flash flood and become buried in sediment. 
The group contains juveniles and adults of both sexes, giving us a snapshot of how Coelophysis lived. The discovery of over 1,000 specimens of Coelophysis at the Whittaker Quarry at Ghost Ranch has suggested gregarious behavior to researchers like Schwartz and Gillette. There is a tendency to see this massive congregation of animals as evidence for huge packs of Coelophysis roaming the land. No direct evidence for flocking exists. The deposits only indicate that large numbers of Coelophysis, along with other Triassic animals, were buried together. Some of the evidence from the taphonomy of the site indicates that these animals may have been gathered together to feed or drink from a depleted waterhole or to feed on a spawning run of fish and then became buried in a catastrophic flash flood or a drought. With 30 specimens of Coelophysis rhodesiensis found together in Zimbabwe, some paleontologists have suggested that Coelophysis was indeed gregarious. Again, there is no direct evidence of flocking in this case and it has also been suggested that these individuals were also victims of flash flooding, as it appears to have been commonplace during this period. Coelophysis remains one of the best-known dinosaurs of its time. Its fossils have been found all over the world, and its legacy continues to captivate scientists and enthusiasts alike, providing us with valuable insights into the ancient world and the creatures that once roamed it. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell icon for more interesting videos. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.